My name is Keto Shimizu, and I am the executive producer on Legends of Tomorrow. Our job is to protect history. You've had messier missions. I have had a somewhat of a unique trajectory in my writing career. People hungry. I got accepted into the Writers on the Verge program, which is a diversity program run by NBC Uni, and that propelled me into my first writing job. Sarah's been abducted. We have to find her. I was one of the only women of color, and it was hard. It was uh, not only because I was so junior and I, you know, it was my first writing job. Um, so there was that compounded with being kind of a token and it made it really hard for me to speak up and to really, you know, start getting my ideas out because I was just so scared. Granted, that was also a, it was a very safe room and everyone there was really nice, but even just that perceived of being kind of the only one and especially being the diversity higher has its own stink about it, unfortunately, that is really hard for people in that position to grow out of. There are still a lot of writers of color who get sort of trapped in those lower levels, at least in, in my side of the industry and the writing side. And there's very little growth, you know, to get people, really propel people's careers into those upper echelons. And that is wrong. You know, I, I think the fact that, uh, you know, I had this particular trajectory has a lot to do with the fact that I was supported, well supported by the people above me and given these opportunities to grow. That should not be a rare thing. That should happen to all writers of color. You have to invest in those writers, both, you know, financially, you know, keep them on after they're not free anymore, but also I think emotionally and, and educationally, like you gotta help them get to that next level. And sometimes that means pushing them in ways that are uncomfortable in terms of like giving them, you know, these opportunities that might at first showrunner be like, ooh, like, should we be doing this? Yes, you should, yes. Give that person that opportunity, give them notes, help them get better. Having a diverse writer's room is just paramount to good storytelling, you need it. You know, you need to reflect the world that you're, you're portraying and I think especially having characters of color, which we do on our show, to have the writing staff reflect that is what makes these characters really pop. It's what makes them feel so real and so relatable and, and challenges us to go beyond the stereotype and certainly beyond what we've ever seen on TV before, because otherwise you're just regurgitating things that have already been out there. And what's the point of that? You know, you want to go deeper. You want to create these wonderfully flawed but relatable characters who you can fall in love with and root for even when they make bad choices or, you know, or fail, you know, that's life. And I think that's, it's important to have, you know, people who uh, understand that journey telling those stories. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs>